I have known trouble on my sailor's mouth. But marine death does not crave me today. Yet I'll take part in its sporting activity tomorrow, where its entertainment might constrict my throat, then cut off my oxygen to my flooded lungs. I have known water containing large amounts of salt in a mixture of small particles which seem to have no apparent end or limitations. I need to paddle toward something stimulating where the waterways meet the center of my intellect measured by intervals between events of watercourse immersion or suffocation. Wherever I travel seems to be the identical place, continuing to persist in a large expanse of salt water, where I experience the equivalent physical pain, inside consistent injuries and unchanged wounds. Still I survive in strong, narrow, subsurface currents, unsurprisingly flowing away from the shore, for they are as evident as a band of restless water, which is the foundation of enormous grief and worry. My only hope is to be covered up with leaves, or with a salted blanket from the ocean, with a promise to be unfurled from previous worlds. My mind murmurs quietly against the jagged waves as I scrutinize my unshaved chin and tender skin with revolting dirt beneath my fingernails. Life is rapid and boundless in these land masses, yet time is extensive inside the seas where I could suffocate, making effortless food for aquatic life. But marine death does not crave me today, so out of necessity I must breathe another day.